And here is a video review of Common Rider Guy and his contract monster Metal Galas. Metal Galas is from the Genocider set, which included the mirror monsters for Common Rider Guy, Common Rider Raya, and Common Rider Oja. <clears throat> I recently acquired Guy, who I th is one of the very few Tamashi Web exclusives in the Ryuki line so far. And because I thought I would be a cheap bastard and I didn't pre-order it, it ended up costing me quite a bit more than it would have had I pre-ordered it. <clears throat> because this guy became super rare. And I think the reason is I am under the impression that the Tamashi Web exclusives are, are made um, based on pre-orders. And it sounds like he's not a fan favorite. <laughs> So I'm guessing just not a lot of people pre-ordered him, and so not a lot of people, not a lot were made. So it's difficult to get a hold of him now. Um, but a guy on Twitter hooked me up for a really good price. I've seen this thing sell for um, over $120 on Mandarake. A guy on Twitter hooked me up for $83 shipped. Still a bit expensive. I think it's the first or second most expensive single figure art. I've purchased, but I'm happy to have him. I like the design. I like the uh, sort of rhinoceros theme vaguely. If you can see his symbol there, it's, uh, I don't know, it makes me think of a rhinoceros. I guess it's really Metal Gallus' head straight on. And I didn't grab the stand that came with Metal Gallus, so it's hard to see. Um, but let's talk about Guy for a little bit. Um, I haven't done a review of the Ryuki figure arts, <clears throat> and they are my favorite line of figure arts right now. Um, they just, they have the best feeling articulation, all of the joints are nice and snug, not dangerously so, but just they will hold any pose you put them in. Uh, these have the metal feet, so they're quite stable. In fact, I recently saw a picture of somebody had... Knight Survive, who has a big flashy cape and stuff, and he was doing some funny pose that he had him balanced on the toe, just on the toe bent joint. Uh, I'm not going to bother trying to do that, but um, anyway, this guy has fantastic articulation, um, bicep swivels, and everything that that figure arts have. The only thing that I kind of don't like about these is that the belt sometimes feels like it's riding up high on their waist. And it becomes, it looks a little funny sometimes. Um, but <clears throat> Guy, who has these fun little side plates, they're on hinges, so they can get out of the way, and they're not going to bend, and they're not a, a piece of plastic, a rubber joint that's going to just be bent over and over and over again. It's an actual hinge. Um, this beautiful, oh, let's see if we can fix the light balance. The... Nice, shiny, metallic red horn on his shoulder is quite pointy. If I had to, I could probably kill somebody with that. Um, it would be a lot of hard work, but only because it's not very long. It's quite sharp. I could easily puncture skin. Um, and I said, it's a beautiful metallic red. This horn is much softer. Maybe not softer is not the right word. It just doesn't have the same point. Um, the, the only issue really with Guy's articulation is this collar on his armor inter can interfere with this um, whatever you would call that on his helmet. Nice for defense but you, you can't look up very well unless you kind of juggle around the collar there. Um, what to say about these? These all come with fantastic art accessories. <clears throat> Guy is actually one of the least accessorized figure arts, Ryuki figure arts, but that's mainly because his accessories come with with, with the uh, the Genocider set. Um, he has a bunch of hands, fists, he has a card holding hand, he has some splayed open hands, some more relaxed or splayed open hands, uh, left and right on each of those. And then he has 
a set of holding things hands. Again, left and right, and I'm probably whacking out the autofocus. And then this one, which is on a slightly different angle. I don't know if you can, I can hold it so you can see it, but the bottom one has a more straight up and down one. This one has it slightly angled forward. Um, and I would say that is for his strike vent, except the handle is going, that you can't see, the handle is going the opposite direction. Oh, come on. Shine it up. There we go. <clears throat> the handle in there is angled the opposite direction of this unique right hand, which is angled more forward. Um, it's probably just, you know, a reissue where it was included with all the other sets, so they included it with this one too. Um, so he has a strike vent, which is strangely similar to the top of Metal Gallus's head. Um, it can be held by either of the two handles there. Let's go ahead and throw that on for the fun of it. Oh, before we do that, the card holder, I don't remember what they call him. Um, his slides open, so you can stick a card in there. And <clears throat> his advent deck should be removable, too. I've never done this on any of them before, actually, because I think I heard once that somebody said theirs was nice and tight, and then they pulled it out. <clears throat> and then it likes to pop out at all hours of the day. But if you can see that in there, that can be popped out and slide back in. He also comes with some cards. Where did I put those? I tend to not play with the cards because they are very small and tiny, and right now they're still in the bag, the little envelope they came in, and I cannot find it. Let me stand up for a second. Where did I put it? Huh, well, then that's why I don't play with the Advent cards that come with these Ryuki figures, <clears throat> because I don't want to lose them like I just did. Well, hopefully I'll see it again while I'm going on with the review. Um, anyway, that's why he has a cold card holding hand. He can hold it. He can pop open his whatever the thing is called and slide it in there and then close it again. Click for Advent or rather, strike vent. The hands are lovely to pop on and off. They are not impossible to get back on like the double line is. They are just perfect all around this line, just due to the accessories, the, the, the perfect feeling of all of the joints, um, the completeness of the line, the way they're doing everybody. Just, it's it's definitely my favorite of all the sadly many 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 figure arts that I have. Um, so that's that's guy. He doesn't actually come with a lot. And if I had paid eighty dollars for him before getting the Genocider set, I probably would not be as happy with him. But because he was the second to the last one that was currently available that I didn't have. I was quite happy to get him to go along with Genocider. Now Metal Gallus is his contract beast and something that has so far been uh, constant throughout the Ryuki line is the writer includes say the strike vent but then the monster can also provide the same strike vent so you can rip off the top of his head and pop the horn out and slide it forward and you got another strike vent. Um, you have to finagle some stuff around in here and actually there's another little who's it handle with a that plugs into that post down there before he could hold it that I left in the box right now. But you can see it's far far larger than the one he comes with and as such the ones that come with the monsters are going to stay with the monsters in my display because he has his own. And it got terribly bright, didn't it? It's, it's a little too dark. I am still trying to get the hang of this neat little app for my camera that tries to allow for white balance adjust and some such. Um, 
Metal Gallus is amazing. As you can see, he's rather large. His articulation is impressive as well. Let's see if I can do it without completely balking the camera. It seems unlikely. But we'll give it a shot. Let's get Guy out of the way. Um, he has great shoulders and bicep swivels and, and elbows that it look like they're double jointed and wrist swivels and actually it looks like his forearm swivels independently also. Uh, wrist swivels and bends and I'm focusing on my hand instead of the toy. The fingers are even, or claws are slightly uh, jointed. The thumb not a whole lot but the, the other ones are, so you can have them close together, you can have them spread out a little bit. He can't make a fist, but he can change the imposingness of his claws. Again, the shoulders and hips, this armor bit is on some sort of a ball joint, so it can be moved around and try to get out of the way when you want to do deep running poses. He's um, got thigh swivels, knee, plenty of play in the ankles, no toe joints or anything, um, but big huge feet so he can take nice big wide stances or whatever you need. He doesn't appear to have any sort of waist articulation. His head and neck is jointed in several places. And then part of this, I think, is for the transformation of connecting Venno Snaker to Metal Gallus for the ridiculous combination that is Genocider. Um, but I'm not going to review that part of it right now, so just know that it can combine with, Gen with, with the other guys in the set. That's why it came together. Let's see if we can lighten that up a little bit. Um, one thing I kind of wanted to try and do here quickly is I have the Sochaku Henshin Mirror Monsters set. Um, and here is Metal Gallus from that set. And as you can see, size is very different. Um, the posability is far inferior on this one as well. Uh, it does combine with the other three, or rather with the other two monsters as well to form Genocider. And again, I'm not going to show that off right now, although I think I posted pictures on Twitter some time ago. Um, this one was nice to have for a while. It was far cheaper than genocide, the Genocider set was on its own. But the way these were sold, you had to buy two sets to get the three monsters for Genocider. So in the end, well, okay, I still paid quite a bit for Genocider. Huh? It cost $45 just to ship. Uh, but but the Sochaku Henshin version was not bad. It was nice to have until I found a, a price that I was willing to pay for for the SH Figure Arts Genocider. But now that I have the good one, yeah, I'm selling this. Uh, this also does pop off, and I assume it's meant to be the strike vent for the Sochako Henshin version, which I do not have a guy, but also to get out of the way for transforming to Genocider. Um, yeah, this has gone on too long, but one thing I did recently because I thought I would never find Guy at a reasonable price, especially after one showed up on eBay for a ridiculous $450, which is twice what I paid for the Genocider set, more than twice, um, I finally found an older version of Guy on Mandarake that I snapped up because it was about $20 shipped, and that is the Figma version. The Figma version is actually named after the Masked Rider Dragon Knight show that appeared in the U.S. that I'm not really familiar with, but so he's thrust on his box art. Um, and frankly, this figure kind of sucks. I don't like it. It just everything about it feels and looks slightly inferior, and I don't know that I can put my finger on it exactly why. the The plastic just feels different. Um, these hip skirts are just soft rubber, and so you're just bending the plastic, or the rubber, 
uh, the, the advent card doesn't come out, the deck thing doesn't open. This is still fairly sharp, but it's not a, a nice metallic red. Oh, it got really dark. Um, he doesn't hold the strike vent as well. The, the joints, some of the joints are about the same, and others are far worse. The ankle joints are not nearly as good. The, there is no toes. Um, let's see, did he come with anything else? I can't remember. Um, he has a few other hands as well. They're just simple posts. They don't, they just slide in and out. They don't plug in. Um, let's see if you can see it in the package there. There's a card of some kind in there. Um, I'm not going to bother trying to get it out. He also comes with a stand, um, which I have never used. Uh, Genocider came with a stand for for Guy, and like I said, I left it in the box so I don't get to show it off, but it's great that it came with a Tamashii stage because those are amazing, fantastic stages. I like them. Um, anyway, I, like I said, I can't really tell specifically why I don't like it as other than it just it doesn't feel as well made. It doesn't look quite as nice. And uh, for me, I'm stupid this way, so I'm happy to have paid quite a bit more for the figure arts version. I paid about four times as much for the figure arts version. But I am much happier having a complete set or a near complete set of the figure arts Ryuki figures. Um, I have Ryuki blank on the way and then I just need to get a hold of Ryuga and that will at least catch me up on everything that's been released to date. I'm babbling at this point. I like the figure arts better. The Figma's okay but kind of sucks. Not worth it for me but if you don't want to spend 80 or far over that to get a hold of Guy then definitely get the Figma if you can find it. It's usually cheap on Mandarake when it shows up. That's the focus one. That guy's awesome. Okay, good enough.